Hello again, it is me. I am back for another week, another video, another Sunday. A bit later in the day on a Sunday, but I drew mental blanks this morning and I couldn't decide what I wanted to talk about or what I wanted to film or what I wanted to do. All I knew was I wanted to do something. I had no clue what it was. So we're going to have a go with the flow video today where I have no clue where it's going to lead or what I'm going to talk about or really what I'm going to do. It's pretty much going to be a really good example of me being me not having any idea what I'm doing which is most days which is weird because I'm a very organized person I like plans I like schedules I like time frames so for me to sit here and not really have a plan or a idea of what I want to do is a bit weird well I do kind of have a plan of what I want to do I have crystals in front of me and I have a mass amount of decks that we could just grab and I could show you or tell you why that deck's important to me. So we'll probably do that. We'll do a little bit of a crystal show and tell, the ones that I really like. You can tell I am back to semi-normal hands galore. I could sit on them, but that's weird. Let's just try not to use them as much. Um, yeah, so that's what we'll do. You'll probably get a little bit of an insight as to what it's like in my brain some days. <laughs> Which is a million and one things happening. So we'll see how this goes. We will start with a few of my favourite crystals that I absolutely love and adore. One first crystal I will show is probably the one that I don't mean to buy, but I buy a lot of. And that is the flower agate. Like, so I have it in a free form, which I love because I love all the little druzies in it. I also really love that word now, druzies. Sorry, my cats are going crazy again today. They'll probably end up on the desk in a minute. So, flower agate freeform. A little flower agate flame. Then I have two little mini points of it as well, which is just gorgeous. Madly in love. And then a really big point of it. And I love this one because it's got a little black spot up there, which I thought was really cool when I saw it. And then it's got all the little black markings through it as well. But no, something about this stone always makes me happy. And like, I will, whenever I order really, I get a new piece of it. I don't know, it's not for everyone, but for me, it's something that I really like. And I think it goes back to I think it reminds me of when I was younger and I would buy flowers for my nan every weekend. So I think that's why I keep buying it because I keep like needing to have it around me because it reminds me of something nice. The other, so I've, I have a lot of hearts, crystal hearts. I went through a phase where I was like buying every single crystal heart I could find. So much so that I think I now have like 20 of them. But I think my favorite one is probably also my biggest one. And it's a green opal crystal heart and again I like this one because it won't show up as well on here but there's like this little little druzy or a little rough patch right in the middle of it that really does make me happy like when you run your finger over that part in particular it goes from being nice and polished to a little bit of a rough spot so it's like yeah everything looks nice on the surface but you are always going to hit a little bit of difficulty no matter what happens in your life like no matter how pretty it all looks on the surface there's always something underneath it that's gonna like just come up and I think like whenever I get stressed or nervy or anything like that I do I tend to like grab this one in particular and like just run my finger over that little rough spot just to remind myself that like this rough spot there's rough parts in everything so it's okay not to be okay all the time and it's okay to say that you're not okay you don't actually have to put a smile on and fake being happy all the time. Side note, that's just me. I like, I say that, that it's okay not to be okay, but I'm one of those people that will smile through pretty much everything and cover everything over with a laugh or a joke. That's me. I like being happy. Like I would prefer to be happy than not, but so even on my worst days, I try and be happy doesn't work tend to end up with messed up neck and shoulders because I overstress 
and don't let it out and bury it all deep in him and then I get physical symptoms <laughs> that stop me so I have to deal with it you would think by now I would have learned that that's not healthy I'm still learning I'm still growing I don't think I'm ever gonna stop okay favorite sphere Cherry Creek Jasper not drawn to a lot of Cherry Creek at all but really drawn to this sphere like when it came up mm, where did I get this one at an online sale live auction live sale yes yeah I'm pretty good I can normally remember where I got nearly all of my crystals from so yay that's one thing I have a good memory with ask me what I did last week I have no clue but ask me where I bought a deck or a crystal or something in this room or in my room maybe not so much in my room in certain spots in my room ask me where I got something and I will be able to tell you why I got it and where and probably the date more than likely but yeah so this one I did get from a live sale the minute it came up for sale I was like mine come home with me it's just something about it that is just so nice you can tell when I like them because I hold them and I cuddle them and then I get really worried when I've got to put it down I'm like I don't want to but that's just that so I do have a favorite raw piece of crystal which is rainbow moonstone which unfortunately like it doesn't show up the rainbow oh no there was one how do I get that to do that again don't know well still learning I also got a new phone so really still learning but no I do love rainbow moonstone I have now I have rainbow moonstone I have black moonstone I have peach moonstone and I have the green Gary Knight moonstone so it's safe to say I'm a moonstone kid I do like the nighttime more than the daytime I am a sort of a night owl I guess don't wake me up early in the morning you will not like the person that you get if you wake me up in the morning if I wake up early in the morning it's going to be a bad day because I don't know I would prefer to be up later and sleep in later rather than get up early in the morning the only time I will ever wake up early is if I have something to do so uh, one of my all-time favorite pieces which I think I have shown before maybe I don't know is my little black obsidian angel wing ear skull so I have three of these one in this one in black obsidian one in Rose Quartz, I don't know where they are now, on that top shelf, way up there, one in Rose Quartz and one in Mukatite, and I have another two coming in the next couple of weeks when I can pick them up. I was supposed to pick up an order today, except my car's not working properly, so I have to go and get it fixed. Again, I've already gotten it serviced this week, I've got to go now and take it to an auto electrician to get it fixed, or hopefully get it fixed. I really hope I get it fixed. I don't like being dependent on somebody to drive me to and from work, so fingers, toes, everything crossed that my car gets fixed. I have a favorite angel, which is an agate druzy angel. Like, I love that there is a hole that goes right the way through the middle. Like, the minute I saw this one, I was like, oh, she's got a hole in her heart. I'll take her home. I don't know why, but that that's something about her having a hole in her heart just really speaks to me. I don't know why. Probably because I make a lot of heart jokes <laughs> about myself. So her having a hole in her heart kind of fits with me. Two all-time, 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 all-time favourite crystals. And they're also very similar to each other, I think, kind of, in the fact that they're both spotty is kiwi jasper which i have two skulls of kiwi jasper i also have a bowl coming you should have I, I was supposed to pick it up today but it's one of the ones that had to get put on hold until my car's fixed i don't like being an adult i don't like adulting some days no when i want to get crystals like adulting things crystals i pick crystals but then i need a third hand because it's like adulting crystals going to see concerts when COVID's not on, obviously. We'll leave the adulting stuff behind and we'll just take crystals, decks and concerts. Travel. Travel. 
travel. I like to travel. I think I went to two, three years ago now. Three, I think it was three years. Three years ago I went to, I think, seven, eight concerts in a month. <laughs> All the same person. Leave your guess as to who it was in the comments below. Not you, sister, you already know who it is, so you will win. But comment below. My other favourite crystal is K2. I love this. It's so, cool. it's so much like Kiwi Jasper, except for the fact that it's got the blue spots. Like a little Dalmatian, except blue. I like blue. I like green. I like yellow. I like yellow for a different reason. For some reason, I link yellow with my nephew. So I really like yellow. Blue and green are just all-time favourite colours. Really simple. Probably, I think, still to this date, the biggest crystal, the most expensive crystal in my collection, is this. And I love it. I think it looks like tiny little people climbing up a cliff. No one else sees that in my life. But when I saw it, I was like, oh look! It's tiny little people climbing up the cliff. So this is a stilbert and blue chelidosi. I think I say that wrong. Well, I know I say it wrong, but that's how I say it. But yeah, no, this is my cliff people, which I love. Which this was really like, I think, like a kickstart to the real collection. Like before this, I was really only buying tumbles. And then I found this. And I put it on hold and I saved and I saved and I saved until I could get this and then all of a sudden after I got this it was like oh look there's spheres there's hearts there's towers there's flames there's free forms there's polished stones there's roars there's skulls there's carvings it all stemmed from this baby which is massive like look at that some compared to my head like shoo, I love it this is my baby so that is favourite crystals today. Like if I did this tomorrow, I would show you completely different crystals, except for like four of them, I think. I would probably find other crystals. It would probably grow again as to what I really like. But today, they're my favourites. So I will now show you a few of my decks. I do have 159. It's grown since I said it last week. I have a problem with shopping, okay? This week I'm going to try, try not to shop. I have to do the old adulty thing after all, but I'm going to try. We'll see how it works. I guarantee I'll fail, but I'm going to try. So I'll show you a few of my decks that I really like. First deck I ever bought, and I still love it, and I still only use it really for me, like I've done. I think one daily card reading with it that went on Inner Energies on Facebook, but I tend not to. It is the Phantasmagoria Tarot. I have, I am, was, and forever will be obsessed with vampires. Like, I love vampires. There is just something about them. Like, they are the, one of the mythical creatures that I tend to gravitate towards the most. I don't know why. Again, night, so probably that's why. But this deck is just like, like just, just, oh, just stunning. Like it really is. Like as I'm doing this, I'm like, oh, I miss these cards so much. Oh, I need to play. Oh, I need to use. Maybe I will. Might use them this week. But sadly, all my cards live in the boxes, as you can see. It's box broke. Seven years on, and it's box broke this like in the last month. So now it has a special bag that it lives in, which is fine. Just a little sad when it broke. I was like, oh, I lost my box. Okay, so that was first ever tarot. First ever oracle is the Oracle of Shadow and Light by Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine Beckett Griffiths. And you can tell that I knew I was going to use this deck a lot. 
if I laminated the book, like if I laminated the book, that's how like often I would go. And this is one of the books that I bent a lot. I don't bend books, but I bent this book so often. Another one that's just like, like when you look at it, it's just like so. She's they've definitely got a style when they work together, and it is an amazing style. And obviously, I love it because like this whole section is just pretty much them and what they've done, whether they've worked together or solo or however it's worked out. That is just all of them. But like, it's amazing. Like, I'm just mad for these deck, this deck. Like, I love that one. So not only am I a moon baby, so I like nighttime more than daylight hours. I am also a water bug. So beach, river, lake, waterfall pool, bathtub, shower. Anything water related, that's where I go if I am stressed or overwhelmed. I tend to gravitate towards the water. It just makes me happy. It calms me down. If I'm having a bad day, normally my end result, my, my go-to at the end of the day is if I've had a horrible day is to go somewhere with water. Even if it's just to sit by the water, it is water. I will always gravitate towards the water. Like, if you want to make me laugh, I'll have a water fight. If you want to make, if you want to plan something for me, take me somewhere that's involving water. Like my sister surprised me and my mum with a trip to the hot springs a few years ago for our birthdays because that we both, my mum and I both celebrate birthdays at the end of the year. So she took us to the hot springs. That was so much fun. I've now been to the hot springs twice and went all COVID and lockdown and everything else is over and done with. I will be going back again to spend hopefully a couple of maybe two days maybe we'll do an overnight trip that would be nice i would like that we'll look into that i'll look into that don't steal my idea sister another all-time favorite deck blue angel oracle you can tell my favorites because i'm just like yeah it's there i'm very particular about where things are on this it's still not right like yes i moved the decks to here and the crystals to the bigger shelves. I don't like the crystals in the bigger shelves because there's not enough lighting and they're also turned the wrong way so I can't really see some of them. That's bugging me. But I know how I want them set up so I just sort of have to find the right storage for them. And I haven't found it yet. I might need to find somebody who can build. That might be what I need to do. But Blue Angel Oracle. Another author creator that I absolutely adore is Tony Clement Salerno. It's just something about his, his the decks are just like just 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 there are no words for some of these these creators like the talent that they have it's not fair it's really not because like look like how do you how do you do some things like this? Like, where do you get these ideas from? I love this. Love, 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 love. I'm pretty sure it's in this. Hold on. Let me see. It probably isn't. No, I'm pretty sure it's in this deck. Let's see if I can find what I'm looking for. You watch. I'm looking for one card. And it'll be in the other deck that I'm thinking of. There are two cards that are one is Archangel Michael. I told you. I did say you watch it not be in that deck. Because it's two. It's in this one. Ask an angel. There it is. See? It's on the back. I'll show you. I actually have this one in a massive, massive picture on my wall. And it is. Do, 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 do. Where are you? I know you're here. I know you're here. Archangel Gabriel. This is and forever will be my favorite card ever. And it's the artwork. It is the artwork, it is solely the artwork. Like, 
I'm not an artistic person really, but this card, this, the imagery for this card just makes me so happy. It makes me calm. And like I said, I have it in a big picture on my wall, which I love. I also used this deck today to do a choose your card special on my Facebook page. So I got four cards, but I also got three cards that were just for me. So I ended up with music, home, and heaven and earth. That just sort of, after I'd finished the spread and was like just shuffling to shuffle really, they fell out at the end and I was like, oh cool, they must be for me because I haven't used this deck in a while. And pretty safe to say that they're for me because like, I don't go anywhere without my music at the moment. It is the one thing that is keeping me calm. Like I am finding a lot of relief and release from music. It's also a chance to escape. So I'm really feeling that. I've been spending a, do not knock the camera. Sorry, that's my cat behind the camera. He's gonna knock it, I can guarantee it. Home, I've been spending a lot of time at home lately because of my neck and shoulder and having to take time off from work. So I've sort of been rearranging everything and finding homes for things and I'm still finding homes for things. And I think that one is also a lot about like being at home in yourself and like centering and being able to center yourself again. And then heaven and earth is literally, I have no clue what is going on with the universe right now, but I know for a fact that there is something shifting in my own mindset. So I know there's a change because I haven't done as many daily card readings as I would normally do. Sorry, <laughs> just watch me like glitch there. And that was because the cat was like so close to knocking it down. Um, yeah, so I know there's a shift in me personally and for me that one's like yeah there is a shift but guess what it's gonna be a good shift like when the shift is done and you've managed to rest and relax and sort of create a center for yourself and find the center you will come through it on the other side of it more powerful which is nice but no i love it when you like you do a reading like i do readings for the page or something like that and then cards come out and it's like, that's not meant for anyone else. That's just mine. Like that's just the universe being like, hey, I see you, I'm watching. It's time for you to start paying attention again. Like, yeah, I get it, pay attention. Easier said than done, but you know, pay attention. Yeah, I will. I get it. I get it, I'm listening. Don't like listening some days, but I'm listening. Let's see, I will show you one more. What one? <laughs> She says as she looks at the other hundred and something decks that she has in her collection. Let's get away from the top. Let's come down to Yeah, I make a lot of noises. Um I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh, let's go completely different. I also I don't use them as much or as often because I'm still learning. But I have runes. I know, right? I just went completely random then. I have two rune decks, like oracle cards with rune decks. But I also have runes, like full on runes, which are. Whoop, that was a bang. Did we all hear that? Which are my bloodstone runes. They are my bloodstone runes, aren't they? Yes. So I have little bloodstone runes. I don't know how I'm going to show you these because, like, there's so many of them. Like, look, bloodstone runes. Like, so pretty. I am still learning. I do have like a PowerPoint presentation that I've created or was in the middle of creating that was like, this is this rune and this is what it stands for. And I learn a lot by writing stuff out my own way. So yeah, same as like when I do, when I was learning the tarot cards and I'm still, like every time I have to refresh my memory on tarot, I like go to a PowerPoint and add more things like this card means this or this card means that. Much like with crystals, like I have like, can I grab that easily? Uh, no. No, I don't even know where it is. I have like little note cards for all the crystals that I have that have like, do I have it in a tumble, a polish, a carving? And then I have what its properties are and what it's used for. Now ask me why I have like 60,000 books that are in like going to be post-it noted to tell me what they mean. 
because I learn in like a ton of different ways and it depends on what mood I'm in as to what I'm going to pay attention to more. I will give you a little bit of insight into me. I like, like I said, like travel. I like all things like that. But I think probably the one thing that like, okay. So I know I said comment below who I went to see eight times in like a month. But pretty safe to say it was one of these four. Now, that was quick, so you may not know. I am a big music girl. I like music. So, insight. If I am stressed or in a bad mood or just not quite myself, play One Direction or any of their solo, uh, the solo careers and I will smile. If I am in a completely random mood, Play Little Mix. Okay, I like UK artists. Play Ed Sheeran. Play Busted. Play McFly. Play Look Busted, which was the best combination ever. I love that. Some amazing songs came out of that. So, yeah, I'm a big music girl, so you can pretty much play any of them and you're guaranteed to make me smile. Some of their songs you're guaranteed to make me cry. Or you're guaranteed for me to start talking and not be quiet for the next like three or four hours. Most of my family hates that trait. But, so very much into UK artists, One Direction, Little Mix, Ed, Sam Smith, all of them. Love. I was raised on country. So my mum's favourite he is Reba McIntyre, so very much one of my favourites. Mum has a game that she likes to play where she'll put a country music song on or we'll be in the car and we'll have the country radio on and she'll go, who's this? And if I can't answer her, then I get in trouble. <laughs> I still get in trouble. Most of the time, I know who's singing, or I can at least narrow it down to like two or three people. But yes, that is another little side note to me. So, music big part which I think is why I like my phone now because it syncs up to my iTunes account and I can listen to all my music all the time big big fan I am also a movie nerd doesn't matter the genre like well the genre matters for the day but not like what doesn't matter all that much at all like I'll watch pretty much anything not scary I don't like scary movies. <laughs> Not really. I will watch them, but I have to be in the right mood for them. And books. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a book nerd. I, growing up, I used to drive everyone crazy because I would have my TV on, my radio going, and I'd be reading a book. And my family was like, how? You can't do all three things. I'm like, yeah, I can. I can, I can do it. I, I can do it. I don't really think I could. But I wasn't turning anything off because like they were my three things. Movies, music, books. Like, that's it. Movie, movies, music and books. You add into that the love of travel. You get a girl who travels to see concerts. Like, I went to New Zealand for a concert. I, well, I've done, in Australia I've done Victoria, Sydney. Queensland, Adelaide, and Perth. So I've done concerts in all of those. And then I've gone to New Zealand for another one. So I've nearly covered most of Australia going to concerts. We'll see what happens when COVID's over and I can travel again. But yeah, that's a completely random way to finish this video, I think. Let's see who actually stuck to the end to hear me rant and rave and just ramble on for like five minutes. It'll be interesting. Like, if you did stick around, tell me your favourite movie, singer, band, any music, and your favourite book. Let's see who stuck around. I don't think many people stick around till the end, so this is going to be fun. But yeah, so comment below, favourites.
see you next week